Hey, it's Chris, and I don't know if you realize this, but the very first episode of Unbelievably Useful was Unbelievably Useful Mac Apps, number one. And today I have a really awesome successor to that video because there's a lot of cool stuff today. You guys know I'm always finding cool accessories for the videos I'm working on. I found some really great budget Mac accessories. I'll link them up down below, so check those out. Also, I'm still giving away $100 worth of iTunes gift cards. So if you wanna get entered for that for this month in May, then go check that out in the description as well. The first app I wanna show you today is called Thought Train, and it's a super simple app that's designed to do exactly one thing, and that is replace all the sticky notes that you might have laying around on your desk. So it's like this, just click on the icon, write a couple quick notes, and then look, it just lives in your menu bar and scrolls through your thoughts so you can reference them anytime and so you don't forget. So whether you've been using sticky notes or not, this is a great place to put stuff that maybe isn't permanent, that doesn't necessarily need to go into your full-fledged and completely organized notes app. This is just really lightweight. Now I can see you sitting there maybe thinking to yourself like, maybe that scrolling is annoying, but honestly it's not. If I'm just looking at something working, I don't notice it at all, but if my eye kinda like drifts up to the top of the screen, I'll see it there a little bit, but it's not annoying, it's just really useful. So I really like this, the best part is, that you can pay whatever you want. So I just paid $1. Next up, I wanna show you a really interesting alternative to Apple Notes, which is called Agenda. Now Agenda is free, but you can purchase some upgrades inside, but what's really different about it is that it's date focused. So it's really helpful when you're planning and documenting your projects. So instead of just folders on the left and then notes on the right, like you've seen a million times, you also get a calendar view on the far right, along with some tasks that are shown contextually in terms of when they're due. One thing that's really cool, and I've never seen this anywhere else before, is that you can link your notes to your calendar events, which is crazy, that's awesome. Now the one thing holding this back right now is that it's Mac only. They're working on an iPhone or iOS app, it's coming soon, so it's not quite a replacement for my Apple Notes yet, but maybe in the future. Today's sponsor is Forklift, which is a Mac app for anybody who works with lots of files and wants to manage them more easily, whether locally or remote. If you either don't like Finder or you want more features than it has, then this is the app for you. The killer feature here is the dual pane outlay, which lets you quickly and easily move your stuff around between two locations without needing multiple windows or tabs. Forklift is a lot more than just an FTP app. It does so much, I can't even talk about it all here, although I definitely love that Forklift Mini feature. That's one of my favorites. Hit the link down in the description to check it out. This next app is called Unlocks, and it's spelled a little bit weird, so I'll link it up down in the description, but it's the successor to what used to be known as Mac ID. So basically what it does is really simple. It lets you unlock your Mac with your iPhone using Face ID, Touch ID, your passcode, etc. What's great is that it uses interactive notifications, so you don't even have to unlock your iOS device. And yes, it will still automatically lock your Mac as soon as it goes out of range, so in terms of security, that's a great feature. There's a lot of fun extras here too. You can see your Mac's battery percentage in the widget, there's 3D Touch shortcuts, and it works with multiple Macs at once. Now I'm really excited about what this next one can do. It's called Power Menu for Finder, and it's a workflow enhancing Finder extension. So basically this app adds some extra actions to the right click menu and the toolbar within Finder, which makes it quicker and easier to do stuff like move and copy files, convert images, or create new documents and more. One of the best features is right clicking on a file and then seeing a list of some of your most used folders which you can set. So it's like a shortcut for moving stuff around to places that you do frequently. Like I hate when I download something and I gotta find it and if I wanna move it onto an external hard drive or something, gotta click through all kinds of different folders. Instead, I can just shortcut right to the folder that I want. Another great app that I'm really glad I stumbled upon recently is called There and it makes it so you don't have to worry about figuring out time zones anymore, which is the best. So for instance, if you're working with a bunch of people who are distributed all over the globe, which is a lot of teams these days, and you don't know what time it is for Jack over in London, you can just click up on the icon and see Jack's picture and what time it is for him, along with everybody else on the team. Plus it makes it really easy to set up meetings that work for everybody, and you can also set focus hours so that people won't bug you when you've got your head down. Another app that I love that I discovered recently is called Veer, and it's my new go-to Windows manager. Now, if you remember back in the first episode, I was using this app called Magnet to quickly organize all my different windows. Well, Veer does that, plus some extra fun, cool stuff. So for instance, I love how you can just right-click anywhere on a window to minimize it, or how you can use the arrow keys or the WASD keys as shortcuts to organize your windows. Right for right, left for left, no clicking and dragging required. 
Now, the stuff that this app does is simple, but honestly, it's a productivity powerhouse. It really makes a difference in my actual workflow. The next app that I wanna demo is called Silens with a Z, and it's actually pretty unique. So this is for anybody who pops on the headphones and listens to Andy Minio or whatever music you listen to to help you focus. In a nutshell, Silens mixes in the sounds around you while you're wearing your headphones, but in a smart way. So you can listen to music, but if it detects somebody talking to you or a phone ringing, then it will pause and then adjust the volume so that you can hear. It's pretty brilliant, and it's cool that you can change the gain and the threshold and tweak some important settings as well. Now this next app, I'm not even gonna show you. I'm just gonna tell you about it and you'll see why in just a second. It's called IP Man and it's just a little mini bar app that when you click on it, shows you your IP address and then you can quickly copy it and use it wherever you need to, which comes in handy every now and then. So that's it for this episode. Let me know if any of these apps are gonna become new additions to your Mac. Which was your favorite? What did I leave out? Is there anything new that we should feature in the next episode? Let me know all that stuff. Also, don't forget to check out those items that I linked up down in the description. Some great accessories that are great for your budget, for your Mac. Also, don't forget to enter that giveaway. I'm giving away $100 worth of iTunes gift cards. You don't wanna miss out. Also, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled daily, T-E-K-K, -K, in both of those places, so check me out there too, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.